just want to go on record and say cheating gets you nowhere in life. Only time I've ever cheated was in high school. And by high school, I mean middle school and maybe college and my taxes and on my driving test. Other than that, I never do it. My senior year, we had this teacher who didn't want to grade any of our tests. After each test, she would tell us to pass it to our neighbor. She would say all the answers out loud, we grade it and then pass it back. I understood math perfectly until they started adding the alphabet to it. Like, is this a test or were we supposed to memorize PlayStation cheat codes? Oh, okay, I didn't know we were being tested on Madden formations. Finish the test, trade with my neighbor. She gets six of them wrong. What's your name, Crystal? Okay. Hand the test back, hey yo, Crystal, I know you don't know me, but you got number nine and number 10 wrong, but I wrote in the right answers for you, you know what I mean? Next test, I intentionally leave two answers blank. Pass them over to Crystal, grade Crystal's test, get my test back. I failed in the two answers that you left blank. Y'all already know what we doing for the rest of the semester. I've been out here getting this paper. Then one day, I'm sitting in fourth period. Lady comes over to intercom. Yes, Mr. Richardson, can you send at a, at a, at a day? What does that say? I, I think it's just a donkey. Can you send a donkey, Thornay, to the administration oh. office, please? And all the kids are looking at me like, oh, snap it down, there's a thug. And I'm like, I've been out here getting this paper. Yes, I'm about that thug lifestyle. I woke up in jail once, no big deal. As soon as I step outside, I'm like, I'm so scared. I get over to see my administrator. Bad news, Adande, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're probably not gonna graduate at the end of the semester. And I'm thinking, crap, somebody ratted on me for cheating. But I acted dumb, so I was like, what, what, do, what do you mean? Every senior needs to pass American history in order to graduate and walk. You're failing. The only way to pass is if you do really well on the final exam. I didn't even know I was failing this class. Now, this American history teacher, Mr. Abatello, had a huge reputation around school for failing seniors, but that ain't about to be me. I've been out here getting this paper. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So then I get the idea to do something totally crazy, booty butt backwards. What if, now this is the big what if, what if I actually study for the final? Like, it's like cheating, but I'm hiding the answers in my brain. My administrator called me back into his office like a week or two later. Just wanted to check in with you and let you know that we don't give out report cards until after graduation, but if you don't pass Mr. Abatello's class, you can't walk. So after you take your final, come see me. Mr. Abatello's gonna let me know if you passed or not. I go to Mr. Abatello's class. He starts telling us what parts of the book to study. I study my booty off. See, parents from the Caribbean, when they get mad, they rage blackout and grab whatever's close to them and they just start swinging. Let me come home saying some junk about having to repeat my senior year. Bet money I get beat with a coffee table from Ikea. Day of the final, I get the test. And you know when you start taking a test, you start going through it really quickly and you skip the questions you don't know. Like I get to this and it's okay, okay, pass. Okay, pass. I realized I got to the last question. I had skipped 80% of the questions. I didn't want to have to do it, but I'm gonna have to cheat. I look up at Mr. Abatello's desk just to make sure the clear is coast. Dude is cold, locked, staring at me. I fill out those answers to the best of my ability. And when it was time for me to go see my administrator, I just couldn't do it. So you know what I did instead? Went to graduation rehearsals, like a bouch. And then I took it up to CEO status and then went to graduation having no idea if I actually passed American history. I get up on that stage, I'm about to walk, and I make eye contact with my administrator. He's like, uh... You know when you get like really scared about something, you start making deals with God, like, please Jesus in heaven, if you let me graduate today, I will never cheat again. And then all of a sudden, I hear them call my name and I'm like, oh snap, son! I walk up all nonchalant like I'm supposed to be there. And to this day, I still have no idea what I got in that American History Final, but it's a good thing I passed because my fallback plan was to get homeschool while I pursue my career as a child Disney star. And we already know how that story ends. Thank you.